have re-looked into infrastructure efficiency to minimize the initial investments uh, in our infrastructure. In future, more of technology, maybe less on the infrastructure investment in terms of the real estate. Such things are being evaluated while we are coming up with our new network. How the role of dealer is changing? I think dealer is very relevant. With customization, he's getting more opportunities to get to sell more accessories, to customize the car, to be much more closer to the customer, use different means to reach the customer. So if something goes down, something else will go up. There will be new opportunities for dealers in battery leasing and swapping and franchising. You will see leaner and meaner models of dealerships. Dealership size would come down, you know, because you have a hybrid model of both online and offline. And the way you sell vehicles would also change. But I feel that dealer is a one-stop point, okay, for selling, for giving you the experience of the vehicle and also for buying your used vehicle back and for delivering a new vehicle. So if you have to take the automobile, one of the reasons why the market is down is the three dhanavs. Fuel prices, commodity prices and over-regulation by the government. It is not rural distress. All the three panelists are saying that it is an oversimplification if we call it rural distress. There are factors which are beyond the rural. How is the EV experience different? You know, what more you can do? How much flexibility it allows you? You don't have to go to a gas station or a petrol pump. You know, so the whole concept of freedom, the whole concept of as you choose, you can charge your vehicle depending on your requirement. That entire mindset of, of flexibility and freedom is a very key factor in our education and talking with consumers. A great opportunity is to take some learnings, is to take some um, things which are happening on the EV side when it comes to customer service and put them all on the ICE side. There will be a lot of collaborative work, much more collaborative work between the dealership infrastructure, charging infrastructure and the OEM. Time are gone when you had only videos and you know pictures, virtual trust drive. So that's where you know you know the engagement has to go up. That's where the metaverse experience has to come. That's where you engage. Web that got loaded in three seconds on how a user can enter and see the entire products that an OEM is selling just by the click of a button. That gives me the ability to move inside the showroom in the 3D environment itself and interact with the car the same way I would interact with it in the real world as well. We all make money in the chain when we have delighted customers. So my submission to all of you is let's play for the long run Let's create equitable sharing of profits based on risk and investments. And I'm sure together we can overcome and transform ourselves through any crises by leveraging and picking up on the opportunities that come our way.